So Jamar, you're seriously having popsicle and we're about to have a conversation about fitness. I mean, with fitness, you know, you follow strict diets and all of that, but sometimes you gotta treat yourself. That's true. Mm. I totally agree. <laughs> Welcome guys. It's a new setting. I'm sitting down and we're going to have some conversation about fitness and health. I have some questions that my viewers asked me and I said why not do a video on these questions so everyone can be aware of it. You'll be getting some information about myself as well as Jamar, he's a model and he will be giving you some information as it relates to fitness. So sit, watch, enjoy because we're going to give you the full hundred. All right, so let's start. So one of my viewers, their response or their question was, how do you become confident in your body? And from I've known myself, I've always been confident. Even when I had more weight, you know, I'm grateful for the body that I have. I work, if I do not like something, I work to ensure that I have that shape or I have that body tone that I want but I'm always confident in myself. And I should mention that not everyone has 100% um, confidence in their body, but you have to work with what you got. You have to encourage yourself. You have to work on that area that you would like to be changed. So Jamara, um, what is your view? Because you know you're a model and you, the body is so important in that, in that profession. How do you, you know, try to encourage yourself and to be confident on the in the spotlight? I mean, like you said, confidence has always been my thing. I've always been confident ever since, you know, growing up in sports, all aspects of life, I've always been confident. And fitness, it really boosts your confidence. When you start working on yourself, your muscles start growing, mm -hmm. your confidence starts to grow with that. You know what I'm saying? And even dating wise, you know, um, confidence help with like relationships, you know, confidence really help all the way around and fitness plays a big role in that. That's true. I totally agree with Jamara. But as I said, if you're not confident, work with that body that God gave you, work with that body because so many persons are not able to move. You have to be confident with whatever you have. And if you want to change something, work on that area, okay? <laughs> and the next question was, how do you get abs? <laughs> well, everyone know that I've been struggling. Um, I started in April and I have a few little abs, not like Jamar, he has a lot. He has his six pack. <laughs> But you have to be aware of what you're eating. They always say abs come from in the kitchen, what you're sure. eating. But I also think for my body type, I have to do exercises. So I try to do my exercises. Like um, I know you guys know that I'm a very busy person, but I try to do my exercises in the morning, a few little abs exercises just to pronounce them. But that's how I get abs. I look what I'm eating and I also do my exercises. So Jamara, what's your take on that? <laughs> like she said, abs, abs are formed inside the kitchen. You have to watch what you're eating, you know, um, like proteins. You got to up your protein intake. Make sure you're taking in a lot of proteins and um, cardio, especially if you're a little overweight, you want to bring that belly fat down a little bit before you start doing like actual ab workouts like crunches um, sit-ups and stuff like that um, you want to make sure that you have your um, belly fat as low mm -hmm. as possible try to bring it down to at least a 10% belly yeah. fat before you start doing actual ab workouts because that's when you'll see the most results that's true I totally agree <laughs> he knows it <laughs> But um, one of the questions, I didn't write it down, but one of the questions that someone said, what's my worst exercise to do? And what is my worst one is push-ups, guys. Trust me, and tomorrow knows that's that. That's my favorite. That's <laughs> yes. my favorite. Well, it's actually my worst. <laughs> um, my wrists are so tiny. It's like um, skin and bones. So whenever I do it, I'm doing push-ups, 
it pains me so i try not to do push-ups and if i'm going to do push-ups guys you can ladies you can you can go on your knees that's what i do because i cannot my my wrist cannot manage my full body weight but that's my worst one how about you jamar jamar that's his best yes, yes i <laughs> love push-ups and the reason why i love push-ups is that you have different variations of push-ups you got the close grip push-up wide grip push-up wow. diamond grip push-up and incline push-ups <laughs> and um with those um different variations you have different variations of those that you have when you put your hands higher you know it really depends on where you put your hands to target different areas of the body like push-up works on your chest your back shoulders triceps bicep it has so much you know benefits doing yes. the actual push-up workout which is why push-ups are my favorite kind of workouts yes that's his <laughs> I have to say, it's my worst but i'm trying um and you get better eventually gradually you will get better but um someone asked me um if you are fall off track you know what do you do and guys we are human beings it will happen not everyone is so totally totally dedicated yes it will happen don't beat up on yourself if you fall off track yes guys what i do um for a particular day i will eat strictly strictly healthy foods that's what i do you know just to condition my mind that i need to go back on track so what i do i have my strictly healthy food and then the following day i incorporate my exercise and that will help me to go back on track because you know once you have that healthy food once you have put in all that work you're saying guess what i need to put in the exercise so that's one way of how i ensure that i go back on track because it happens to me i'm not going to say it does not it does happen to me but how do you come back that's 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 my take on it jamara what do you have to say <laughs> for falling off track i say that um the best thing to do is to have a goal written out you know have yeah, your goal like so on the true. wall or uh -huh. something have something that you can look yeah. back on yeah so when you fall off the best thing to do is look back at that goal and say oh my gosh i'm so close i yes. don't want to fall off now maybe a few more months a few more years mm -hmm. and i'll get to where i'm at so you know it's gonna force you or gonna encourage you to keep moving forward and keep trying um good job <laughs> he's so good at this <laughs> but um another question was how do you feel motivated yes that was the question and i did a video on motivation different tips that i've been using um how do i feel motivated what really motivates me is my children my children motivates me I want to live longer to see them grow and to do well so I need to take care of myself and as a mom you always consider your children first they are the first thing they are the first persons you are going to take care of but what about you you need to be there to take care of them so when I see my kids I said guess what my health need to be um i need to take my health into consideration i need to have good health to have long life so that's really what really motivates me my children first then my health because you see them growing and you're saying guess what i need to be here i need to i need to take care of myself even though you're taking care of them your children comes first and then yourself or yourself i should say come first then the children so take care of yourself that's what really motivates me also what motivates me i envision what i would like to be looking like um a future self of myself i i, I vision it and when i see that i normally like get up in the morning and i said you know i i need my arm because i have um extra fat hair and that's what i do i vision what i want so i want it firmer i want my legs firmer and that's what pushes me you know some small things just pushes me to go further how about you jamar well he does have any children so i guess he has another motivation tip like she said um having a goal or having a vision of what you want to be really helps you know when you can see yourself 
five years down the line it really motivates it because you know you like what you see Mm -hmm. so it's gonna force you to work towards that goal another thing i think is really important is the people that you surround yourself with you want to make sure you surround yourself with people who's going to um encourage you that help encourage you to move forward encourage you to keep trying you know i'm saying be very positive to you and stuff like that it's very important to have those kind of people in your life if you have people that's really holding you back you might want to cut them out of your life you know move past them so to see the best results that's so true your support group means a lot that is so true another question that was written by one of my viewers is who really inspires you which fitness persons inspires you and honestly i have so many persons i follow so many persons because i've seen their journey and how hard they have worked but i really looked up to persons who have children i'm not saying the others are not but when you actually have children your body goes through a total total different stage so it goes it enlarge And when you actually come down to that size that you were, and there are so many persons who actually come down after they they give birth and they come down further than the, the weight that they actually were before they actually got pregnant. So those are persons that I really looked up to. Um, Massey Arias, I'm not sure if I pronounce her name properly, but she, I so love her. She's so strong. She's so energetic. She's always going and she has a little girl and the little girl is so adorable. But when you see those abs and you see how firm she is, how tone she is, you're saying anyone, if she can do it, I can do it, anyone can do it. But there are so many persons that I really that really inspires me. So many persons who have children, as I said, I look up to those persons because your body went through a total, total different thing. And then you have to come down. You have more work than someone who does not have children. You have to work harder. You have to put in more effort. And also you have your family, you have your children that you have to be taken care of. And when you see that they move from that stage to this stage, hello, they inspire me. They show me that I can do it if they can. But those are the persons that really inspires me. How about you, Jomar? Well, I don't have any kids, <laughs> so I don't, you know, but um, I like Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's a favorite, um, oh famous soccer he player. He is my favorite, <laughs> too. <laughs> I love Cristiano Ronaldo because he plays soccer and he's also a model, which is kind of what I do. I play soccer yes. and I'm a model. And um, he re- he works really hard. He goes really hard, not just on the field, but off the field. And, well, he has, he has kids, too. <laughs> and... Um, I look up to him. Another person I also look up to is Chris Hemsworth, which is the actor of Thor. I love that guy, man. <laughs> yeah, he's my but favorite. But what really, what really, um, what caused you to like these persons? What it's their worth, it? especially Chris Hemsworth, you know, because sometimes he has to go through some drastic changes for different acting roles. Like, you know, this role, he has to be really skinny. Then the other role, he has to be really fit. And okay. it's how hard he works, works. to get to that yeah. next level. You, you have know, to his, that dedication, work. you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? You have to be really dedicated and hardworking. Yes. And It's really inspiring, so I love that guy. See? So everyone, everyone has to put in the work. Everyone has to try. No matter what your situation is. And guys, last week, I was so sick. But you have to ensure that you take care of yourself and put in that work. All right? So that's my take on that question. And my last question, there were so many questions that were posted on my pages, but I thought these questions were more relevant. These questions I should do a video on because it will be beneficial to everyone. The last question, the bonus question is how long do I work out for? And if I do a lot of cardio. Guys, I normally work out say three times per week. And in between, I have my rest day. I used to work out five times per week when I was home during COVID. 
well we still have covid but it's not so bad but i used to work out five times per week and jamar told me not to because i'm so i'm getting so slim and it really doesn't make sense that i do so much but i do three times per week and in between i have my rest day so i mostly do lift in weights and I have a 10 pound I don't have a lot of weights eventually I'll get there and I mostly do home workouts I've never been to the gym and I'm so busy I'm not able to go to the gym but I'll be going there soon and I try not to do a lot of cardios cardios let you lose that muscles that I want to gain and it also lets you lose that body fat and I don't have any more to lose but that's what I do I do three times per week in between say Wednesdays and sometimes Fridays I have my rest day okay so Jamar as I told you he's a fitness guy he will tell you exactly how he exercise and how it has been helping him over to you so I work uh, at least three times four times per week just like she does and um, what I do is I like to do arms day then i'll do a chest day and then i'll do like a leg day yeah and um on my arms day i'll also do abs and on my uh chest they will also do back and um i work out twice per day so i'll work out in the morning and then i'll work out in the afternoon he has time yeah <laughs> i don't have any kids like she said and um so i have the time to do it i work out twice per day and three times per week and um, some of those exercises I do, like I said, it's those push-ups, man. I love, mm -hmm. I love my push-ups. Yes. Very yes. effective, you know. Um, oh, so I, and for this month, I started the 10th of October. I'm going to the 10th of November, and um, I'm doing at least 200 push-ups a day. Oh my God, <laughs> 200 push-ups a day. My hand can't deal with that. So what I do is in the morning I do 25 close grip, I do 25 wide grip. 25 diamonds and then 25 mix right and then in the afternoon i do the same and oh what i'm trying yep so that adds up to 200 push-ups per day and i'm doing that for the next month to see you know what kind of effect it has on me and if it works i'm gonna keep mm -hmm. doing it because you know i'm working based on effects and you know outcomes so if it works there's no reason to drop it i'll just keep doing it wonderful <laughs> You see how good it is. <laughs> well, um, well, these are the questions, you know, and thank for my guest. He came and answered some questions from a male perspective. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And send all those questions for me. If I'm not able to do them in a video, I will DM you and give you the answers that you're looking for. But as I said before, work best with what works for you or do what works best for you. That's the most important thing. If you're able to exercise in the morning, you do that. If you're able to do late nights, do that. But use a strategy that will work for you. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Thank you for commenting. And give me some ideas. Give me some ideas as to how you have been helping yourself throughout this progress and share the video of course subscribe if you haven't done so and check out jamar jamar is on instagram right yes jamar x hunter j-h-a-m-a-r-a -A x hunter yes on he has the body <laughs> right so check him out and see you soon